special report dovetailing real reality in 2014 with 12 monkeys from 1999 put together by Rob Dew. Here it is. Well, it sounds like the perfect script for a horror movie. A virus with no vaccine and no cure kills thousands of people. Five billion people died in 1996 and 1997. Almost the entire population of the world. Only about 1% of us survived. More reports of flu cases along the border, but officials are saying they aren't connected. Surely there's very real and very convincing data that the planet cannot survive the excesses of the human race. And I actually think the world will be much better when there's only 10 or 20% of us left. Dr. Eric Bianca. But most frightening was the fact that in a crowd of over 1,000 prominent scientists, local newspapers reported that 95% of those in attendance gave Bianca sustained standing ovations every time he extolled the virtues of mass culling microbes and man's destruction and went on to laud the virtues of Ebola because it would kill 90% of the world population quickly. The World Health Organization said on Tuesday the Ebola death toll jumped by almost 200 in a single day to at least 2,296 and is likely to be higher than that. The head of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control confirmed Tuesday that West Africa is in a desperate situation, but that there is still hope that the outbreak can be reined in. A top German virologist has caused shockwaves by asserting that it's too late to halt the spread of the Ebola virus. In other news, the CDC is receiving reports of a possible flu outbreak in San Francisco. If the symptoms were first detected in Philadelphia on December 27, 1996, that makes us know that... It was released in Philadelphia probably on December 13, 1996. And was seen sequentially after that in... San Francisco, New Orleans, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Rome, Kinshasa, Karachi, Bangkok, then Peking. Rome, Kinshasa, Karachi, Bangkok, Peking. This is some trip you're taking, sir. Is this all in one week? Business. One of the two Americans infected with the Ebola virus has arrived in Atlanta from Africa for treatment. The Massachusetts doctor arrived at the Nebraska Medical Center just before dawn this morning to be treated for Ebola. And right now, his or her blood sample is on its way to the Centers for Disease Control. The new ability to wage war is born from the blood of one of the victims. There you see. Also invisible to the naked eye. It doesn't even have an odor. Imagine a virus, the most terrifying virus you can, and then imagine that you and you alone have the cure. Without specific drugs or a vaccine for Ebola, the only thing doctors can do for those suffering from this disease is treat their symptoms. Ebola is not airborne. One will not likely catch the virus just by nearing someone who has it. In 1989, Ebola made its way to the U.S. This new strain of Ebola had shown the potential to spread through the air. They are now calling this a true pandemic. Five years on. Still no cure. No cure. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has given 31 million pounds to help battle the Ebola epidemic in Africa. It is hoped it will also speed up the development of drugs and vaccines as Ebola has killed more than half of its 4,300 victims. Uh, first, we've got population. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. A preventative vaccine for the Ebola virus could be available as early as next year, as British pharma company GlaxoSmithKline. So you want to balance the need to get a potentially effective vaccine to the people who need it in a way that you can get some meaningful information as to A, whether it does work or not, and whether it does harm. A confidential GlaxoSmithKline document recently linked to the press exposed that within a two-year period, a total of 36 infants died after receiving the six-in-one vaccine of Infrix Hexa. Going right out to get vaccinated. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Attention. Due to the extremity of the simian flu crisis, all regular government functions have been suspended in Denver. Hope everybody enjoys. This is undoubtedly a beta test, but Prince Philip said he wanted to come back reincarnated as a 
particularly deadly virus to exterminate 90% of the world population and contribute something in his words. You can read that in the London Guardian, by the way. We covered it a few days ago, as you know. And they all say that they're just getting everybody ready. And the drones and robots and automated systems will help take out whoever's left who tries to fight back. See, I realize now that I'm just here literally as a, a stopgap measure. And so are you. If we don't stop it now, we're planting information warfare time bombs uh, out there in the record, the mental record, the way the cloud works that can expunge my voice worldwide, your voice very easily in the future in just a matter of minutes. But still, the memory will live on in your mind and in written word. And so it's, everybody just needs to understand that they are preparing, not this round, but down the road, airborne Ebola, mouse pox, and other things. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist light clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract, paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise, can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. I'm going to say it again. We have a normalcy bias in the Overton window. If you don't know what those two terms are and you're a new listener, write them down, look them up. We have a normalcy bias in the Overton window where they have politically got us to where we will accept almost anything. Almost anything. 
And once they get a population to that point, it's Soviet Russia, it's Nazi Germany, squared with all this high-tech garbage. And so I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm trying to get people moving to not worry about this. To not worry about the system trying to crush us, but worrying about the larger program coming to fruition. You shouldn't worry about yourself individually being attacked when you're trying to expose the new world order. You should worry about the fact that people have no chivalry or no even basic culture or basic morals or can't even really communicate to where it's just a bunch of people milling around mindlessly trying to feel like they've done something of value and the only places you can have a male role model is in sports or as a government enforcer. And, and that'll all be gotten rid of once they've got the robots rolled out. And that, that's all stated. It's the end of humanity, ladies and gentlemen. It's the end of what we are as we know it. And it's being prepared. And I don't believe that this Ebola outbreak is that. It, it, it's a process of successive plagues that are going to get worse and worse as they pose as the saviors, driving us further under their black wings. Where we can be safe as the third world dies, as Africa and Latin America dies, as Asia areas die, as areas of Europe die, and only the, the controlled citadels of social engineering are allowed to go forward. And it'll kind of be a wink, wink, well, it was allowed to be released to save the earth, but those of us within the dome cities are safe. That's where all this is going. That's why you see it in all the culture and all the movies for 50, 60, 70 years in the books. Because H.G. Wells and others were exterminist, eugenicist, Fabian socialist on record. And they are preparing you for a societal memory to accept this and to accept your bad and accept laying down and accept rolling over. Everything they do is about making people cowardly. Can you imagine if they had cameras in school bathrooms 50 years ago, people as our guest yesterday said John McAfee would burn the school down. You do it today, it's like big deal. It's the government, let them. Briefly, uh, as we end the show, I'm prepared to get our guest on and go over some more of the news. Please remember we are listener supported and that means spreading the word about this broadcast, whether you listen on AM and FM, shortwave, internet, the free podcast, infowars.com forward slash show. You can find all the free podcast, video feeds, audio feeds, all of it. They don't want you to hear this. The system pulls their hair out because it's not the season yet to just go ahead and wipe out the media. It's just audit them, demonize them, set them up, you know, run black ops, cognitive infiltration, COINTELPRO 2.0. That's the game plan publicly. See, because they need all the agents to feel like it's okay, so they can put it in the newspaper. Oh, if they do all these criminal things. <clears throat> they normalize it. That's why it's important to become a PrisonPlanet.tv subscriber and realize, ladies and gentlemen, we literally are flying into the flag cloud here. This is not a game. You have to understand that when they attack any media, when they attack independent media, when they attack truth tellers, they're attacking you. And so how do you fight back? You spread the word. You reach out to others. You get a PrisonPlanet.tv membership today. 11 people can use it. Download the films, watch the live show, see the nightly news, and so much more. PrisonPlanet.tv. Second hour straight ahead. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it.